Wow. That was hot. Any last words? Can that garbage? <laughs> Had to be droids. It's always droids. Right. Blah, 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 blah. Nice hit. Another About nice. damn time. I thought we might not make it. I'm glad to be wrong. You just picked up guns and came to fight an army. Being afraid all the time, it's no way to live. We've spent our entire lives being protected by our droids, by you. We want to stand for ourselves. Won't get any argument from me. Me neither. Let's get back to camp, huh? The less work for me, the better. These small... We took a beating, but the mission was a success. And we discovered an unexpected ally. I'd call that progress. Attacking Zakul was never going to be easy. Nobody else has made it this far. I'll give us that. It's a bigger victory for Pashna and his people than us. Finding the will to fight back, proving they could win, or conceding his own defeat in these swamps. How do you mean? Every defiant soul Arkin drives out here, we can turn into a weapon against him. I want to embed havoc with the rebels. Train them to be a proper fighting force. Build an army right under his nose. Whip them into shape. I'll work on getting them equipment. If we teach them right, you won't have to. But these, like, you saw when I spawned and I had to go like 10 feet. And then I was in the next quest. Why couldn't it just have started the next, like, conversation piece? Because it it didn't make any sense for me to walk those ten feet and then start the conversation because I didn't experience anything more. I just had to walk ten feet and have a new loading sequence. So I'm not sure I. I would have preferred to just jump into the next conversation because it's the only place to go so why the hell wouldn't I just go there directly yeah and you even teleport me back to the base why not like keep keep it moving yeah, I don't know interesting group you've got here takes all kinds I guess we share a common enemy and desire. That's enough. Desperation makes for strange bedfellows. Ooh. Fun as this is, I need to get back to Havoc. I've requisitioned Bedfellas. passable training gear to issue to the Rebels. At least until they can keep from shooting their own toes off. They're going to do this whether we help or not. Teaching them how to is what's best for them and us. A more rigorous analysis would suggest the cost-benefit is more strictly in their favor. 
If we succeed at fostering rebellion on Zakul, it may hamper Arkhan long enough for the rest of the galaxy to strike back. It is not my understanding of the situation that needs to be corrected. Pushy droid you've got. You don't want to call her that. What? Pushy? Droid. The extent of my being is beyond your comprehension. Yeah, clearly. If you need me, you know where to look. I like the droid better. I won't be leveling him up at least. More relaxing in the cantina. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. I uh, might go and sell some stuff before I enter the next. How can I help you? First of all, repair and sell junk. All right. We got a lot of common data crystals. Until next time. Put it into my. No, I actually don't have the. No, I don't have the legacy stronghold. Because I'll put them into my legacy stronghold, given to another character. Well, thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on there? I require your attention. Do not tarry. Tarry? I won't tarry. But what the hell is going on in my canteen? Like, people need to be respectful. Here. Astute observation, Agent Sean. It is a wonder the SIS could get by without your deductive reasoning. You're a droid that's gotten too big for her own bolts. How's that for an astute observation? Five minutes. Can we please go five minutes without you two at each other's throats? I didn't walk over here for my health. Everyone's touchy today. Fine. Scorpio, show the commander what you found. Please. My analysis of enemy communications obtained by Havoc Squad revealed something interesting. Hidden inside a mundane signal, I discovered encrypted transmissions codenamed the Gemini Frequency. They are broadcast from the throne to every vessel in the Eternal Fleet. The spire schematics provided by Kaleo Confirm this. It's how Arkan commands his warships. This is the break we've been waiting for. A direct line to the enemy fleet. Start a plan of attack. It's Arkan's turn to be on the defensive. Mm-hmm. See. This is what you want. Oh, chapter 12. Ha, ha, ha. 
Scorpio cross-referenced all the data Havoc Squad and Kaleo stole from Zakul. When we compared the enemy's comm logs to the Spire maps, we found something unexpected. There's a hyperwave relay station hidden 10,000 meters beneath the Spire. It's the only source of Gemini frequency transmissions to and from the Eternal Throne. Hmm. I thought the throne controlled the Eternal Fleet. Broadcasting a signal to thousands of ships across the galaxy takes tremendous energy. The relay station's powered by 200 reactors tapping directly into Sekul's planetary core. That relay station is our key Kill to the Gemini thermal. frequency. If we can decrypt it, we'll eavesdrop on the enemy and learn his plans. If we take it out, Arkan won't only be blind, he'll be toothless. The fleet will sit there waiting for commands that never arrive. First order of guerrilla warfare. Disrupt enemy communications. This is a demolition op all the way. You'll never get near that relay station. It's ten kilometers underground and defended by more safeguards than we can count. Well, it's a good thing our data reveals every security measure in the way, and how to defeat them. A strike team can disable the defenses right under Arkan's nose, but only if we send it in now. Our intel's turning stale as we speak. Kaleo and Major Jorgen are already on Zakul. They're in position to clear the commander a path directly to the relay station. We are not sending that terrorist. She's done enough to my world. Avic Squad was made for this op. We have enough dead night to turn that relay station into a crater. Cut the head off the serpent. Throw the fleet into chaos. You're trusting the fate of the galaxy to a gang of grenade-happy bucketheads? We're only getting one shot at this. Lucky for you, one shot is all I need. Destroying that relay station is a bonehead play. Send me, and you'll control the Gemini frequency. The idea has potential, and she's an experienced infiltrator who survived on Zakul for years. Uh -huh. She bombed my people. Yeah. Never Same again. Yeah. Stop it. Destroying the relay station is a last resort. But if things go wrong, I need someone who can get creative. That's Kaleo. She's like a rancor on a glass factory. This is a mistake. No, it's not. We also have to make Arkan miserable. And distract him from our real purpose. Havoc Squad can do that better than anyone. We won't disappoint, Commander. I'm already moving. Be it's seeing you. To feel included. That's why kids you can't please have everyone. To play with each other. But it may be prudent to consult Valkorion. He built the spire. He may tell you how to invade it. All right. Let's uh, go. Let's move. Hear what he has to say.
Oh, I got eight mails now. <laughs> I better start checking my, my inbox. So before we actually do anything with that, no repair. Where's my mailbox? Legacy field mail droid. Let's get rid of that. Kind of the same way that World of Warcraft was doing quest. It's a it's a wall of text basically. Valkorian, we need to talk. Do not presume to manipulate me. We are not Sith, and the Dark Council is dead. When you kneeled before me, I thought you would become my greatest ally. Ah, how wrong I was to believe that. You always knew what controlled the Eternal Fleet. You should have told me. I am not your servant, and you have trifled with my patience for the last time. <laughs> oh. Okay. Lana, come in. Something happened. I need your help. Hmm. Your friends cannot hear you. You brought me here. Why? Sometimes. Evolution requires a push, or a sacrifice. And who would I have to sacrifice? You have forgotten what it means to face death alone. I will remind you. A path has been laid before you, but you refuse to tread upon it. That will change. Can you sense the predators closing in? Mm. They smell your weakness. They would feast on it. to fulfill. I am tired of being disappointed by your lack of progress. 
too freaking cute. Can I just follow this trail instead? Okay, I can. The galaxy is finally united under a single banner. It should have been yours. It should. And it will be. My son struck a killing blow against you. Had I not interfered, you would be dead. Perhaps I should have let you go then. Alright, one cave left. Probably also caved in. Can't mount. Hmm. My son blindsided me because I allowed it, but you were weak. No. Not 
even close. Despite your precious warship, a legion of allies, and my immense power at your disposal, you remain incomplete. You have mastered the dark side of the Force. It is not enough. It never was. Until you embrace your full potential, you will only be a pawn of fate, never its master. If you have all the answers, let's hear them. Start with why you let your son betray you. Arkan saw what he wanted and claimed it. What is your excuse for failing to do the same? The future is not a river to carry us. It is the ocean in which we drown if we are not prepared. You have two destinies, Outlander. In one, you defeat Arkham, claim the Eternal Throne, and remake the galaxy. In the other, you die alone, unmourned and forgotten. I brought you here to taste that defeat. <laughs> this 
This is not even a dangerous fight because I have these two abilities that is basically making me vulnerable. Ha ha ha! 